Salutations. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Patreon channel. Um, we're going to talk about something a little different this time. Let's talk about, I'm gonna, I want to combine a few things. We're going to go into dealing with the Black Knight, okay? And also a new substance that's called Vanta Black. They just made another piece of that called Vanta Black 2. And what that is, is one of the darkest materials ever created by humans, all right? It's... Um, 99.5% uh, reflective or absorbent of uh, light, okay? So no no light is emitting from this, like only was at 0.05%. That's the darkest ever found. And what they're using to actually create that substance is uh, carbon nanotubes. We go back into that, that take us back into the nano civilizations and things we've talked about concerning the implants and nanotechnology, but carbon nanotubes, they've taken a substance that I suspect is eumelanin uh, to make um, actually the carbon nanotubes uh, absorbent of light. So that way that's how they've made this Vanta Black. I think it's very interesting because I think it's not are we just looking at some aspects of dark, of dark matter and dark energy that goes along with melanin maybe some coordination there, all right? But I think we're also looking at a metamaterial, a substance, that's why I was trying to keep up with the metamaterials due to things that I've seen, crafts like this and what they were constructed of, how I said they were constructed, the metamaterials involved, the quasi-crystals. So I always try to keep slightly abreast of metamaterial research, all right? Um, anyway, this, 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 uh, this, this Vanta Black, that type of metamaterial, I believe is maybe what the Dark Knight is coated with, or the Black Knight as it sometimes is called. Perhaps the one that uh, Tesla was getting signals from, they still don't know overall. But uh, that's just one thing I think that maybe that's part of the reason why it is phasing in and out. It's got that invisibility quality that some of these metamaterials have. So look up the metamaterials that the uh, militaries are using right now for invisibility. That's very much coordinated, all right, with this Vanta Black, and perhaps how that is a part of what is on um, the Black Satellite. And to take it a step forward, all right, what I believe, I believe that the black box here, okay, the black box here, you can look that up on YouTube, the free video. <laughs> There's a black box on top of here also. I believe that that, I described this being inertial dampeners, but nonetheless, I think that maybe the material that they're coated with could be like a Vanta Black type of material. And when looking at those cubes, that takes us into Walter Russell's actually uh, hyperdimensional cube. He describes kind of how that can be used for anti-gravity, but that's another video another time. Anyway, um, going back to Vanta Black, and when I, want, when I say that's kind of the coordination I want to make between those two, but taking actually the um, Black Knight itself, all right? I want to coordinate that with another video I did also, um, which is called um, uh, talking about Bracewell probes, all right, uh, which, are, which are probes that could come to and from Earth, all right. Um, these are things that are near-Earth near objects. I talked about that in Planet Nine, a video called Planet Nine. That's one of them, all right. I can remember the name of it for a minute. Planet Nine is one. I talked about that, uh, how there's not a Nibiru and stuff like that, all right. Another one in the Binary Star video, I talked about that also near-Earth objects, all right, and things that are out in the Kuiper Belt. But this time we're going to focus when talking about the Black Knight on actually near-Earth objects. And for me, when I talk about past life memories, I have a memory of this being a type, almost two civilization here, being here before and having technology more advanced we have now, and we would be doing things more like sending out Voyager. Think about Star Trek II, how Voyager came back, okay, so this is taking these near-Earth objects I think are what are called Bracewell probes. Science fiction calls Bracewell probes. For reference for what a Bracewell probe actually is, check out 2001 uh, A Space Odyssey, okay? That's a um, pretty good representative of the monolith when it came here. A Bracewell probe is actually sent to make contact with an alien civilization. And uh, that waited till we became a type one. The monolith waited till we became a type one civilization, then initiated contact. So that's a Bracewell probe. Um, the other things that science fiction deals with besides Bracewell probe, another one is called a von Schumann probe. 
uh, I'm sorry, Von Neumann probe, a Von Neumann probe and a Berserker probe. A Van Neumann probe is uh, actually sent out to explore galaxies. So that would be more like a, a Voyager, not just for contact, like the Bracewell probe, but to explore galaxies and amass all that information. Star Trek has dealt with several different probes that went out there and came back. So that's, that's that type of situation. A Berserker probe is one that's designed self-replicating to destroy other civilizations. So that's just science fiction's take on that. But from what I'm saying is, and linking this back to the video, another video I did called about the Living Library. I don't have a cop, my copy of that book, but I'll put a picture of it up. The Living Library by Barbara Marchinique. I thought that maybe that was, she was referring to a type of Bracewell probe that was sent out from old ancient civilization, ancient Earth, and came back here. All right. So the th few things that I thought that might be this object coming back was something like Hale Bob. Boy, I was watching Hale Bob close back in the '90s. I also thought comet sighting might have something to do with this. Um, apparently, I was wrong on that. But it, things I'm always looking out for. The near Earth objects that I want to connect to the Black Knight are the following. All right. Now, these are the ones that always grab my attention when observing astronomical phenomenon. One is VG 1991 that travels not too far behind our moon there. That's one there. That could be emitting signals I think they've seen found coming off that. That could be an, an actual type of a Bracewell probe. Okay, another one is called, uh, oh, I can never get this word right, um, 9999-42 Apophis. That's another big one that's a near-Earth object that is worthy of observation. Okay, another one SG-344, look that one up, that's another one, uh, possible Bracewell probe. I think a lot of these things are ancient though, all right? And another one is the new moon that they said they found. It's, it's so close to our moon that it's caused, like they're saying, is that another Earth moon? And that is uh, 2016 H03, look all those up. Anyway, these are things that I think could possibly be Bracewell probes. Going back, to planet Nibiru and planet X, why I say that does not exist, it, there's, there's science that shows it. Planetary perturbance is important. If that thing was out there in the Kuiper belt and was coming towards Earth, then we have so many bells and whistles going off. None of those objects out in the Kuiper belt were even come past Pluto, let alone all the way to Earth, all right? But nonetheless, out in there, the, the orbit that those trans-Neptunian objects are giving make it seem like there could be a brown dwarf out there. Something's attracting them for that, that orbit out there. And a brown dwarf would be invisible on our spectrum, on our light spectrum. It'd be infrared. So these are just things I'm throwing out there, all right? And try, I'm always trying to keep separate from what could be also technology from ancient Earth that's coming back here and emitting signals and helping our consciousness. Um, whether or not the Black Knight is one, I don't know, but I think each one of all these objects are very worthy of, of uh, observation from all of us. And so I'm gonna look at my notes here and make sure I'm, make sure I'm going over all this stuff. Um, that's, that's most of it, actually. I think that's the important stuff. I will say this, um, when going back into past life memories, I have a memory of advanced technologies, as I said, on this planet, but also there were sex. You know, part of us that was called the sons of God. I want to say that the beings I remember being part of were definitely not Anunnaki. And my past life memories is not Anunnaki. There were a lot of factions here of advanced civilizations that were colonizing this planet. All right. But uh, when dealing with any of what I was going back to, uh, con con connecting this to Vanta Black, I remember black pyramids. I remember these dark practitioners these hybrids, these black practitioners using uh, our devices for evil and that's what, for negative energy and that's what destroyed everything. But before that, they were using these black pyramids that were using some type of holographic technology to mask them. But I believe that they were probably coated with something similar to that vent of black. I'm just, you know, trying to draw some actual conclusions and I'm always looking for verification of what I've actually experienced. So anyway, that's most of the stuff here that I wanted to go over concerning Bracewell probes, uh, Vanta Black, and the Black Knight. So we bringing this all in and kind of tying it together, all right? Um, I appreciate everybody that's come here with me. Uh, that's mostly all I got to say for this one. 
So if you have any comments, please do comment. If you're somebody watching this video, I will comment back. I want to chop it up a little bit. This is important, at least being aware of this. Look up Black or um, Vanta Black 2, actually. They've uh, made another copy of it that's a little more advanced than just Vanta Black. And it starts there, and just be aware of the meta materials they're making, some of the things that they're actually doing, and how it might tie into some of these things here, all right? Especially when it comes to things that might have been coming, that might be contacting Earth, not just from extraterrestrial, extragalactic civilizations, extra solar, solar systems, um, more things that might already be here from ancient Earth, technology still here from the past that is contacting us now, and maybe even reporting back. And in the same way, keep observing everything that's coming into our solar system and it's coming anywhere near Earth orbit. There, there's so many things come in all the time, meteorites they're not telling people about. There's that service, you can watch the meteorites that are coming close, and they still catch half of them. So these are all things to be aware of, and maybe when dealing with uh, possible Bracewell probes from ancient Earth. Thank you very much. Peace.